whether you're stenciling at home or at the tattoo parlor, you will need a hectograph paper and a printer to print out your design. Even if you have drawn your design by hand, last thing you want to do is to spoil your original design by drawing over it when you're making a stencil. So you will need to scan it in and print it out. Hey guys, I'm Dika Oril and I help tattoo enthusiasts to achieve best results in tattooing and business without the overwhelm or wasted time. So if you are ready to get on the success path in your life and stop trading time for your money, be sure to subscribe. So this video is going to be broken into three parts. How to stencil with hand-drawn hectograph paper by hand, stencil with thermal copier hectograph paper, and what is the difference in the quality. Stay with me till the end of the video and as a bonus, I will show how to stencil more complex design and I will list all the materials too. So I've printed out two stars to show you how I can stencil it, one with hand and the other one with the help of a ruler. And this, you will see later why. Here I'm going to sign which one I've done with the hand and which one I used ruler to help me with. First one I'll be using hand-drawn hectograph paper. As you can see it has nice thick wax-like texture. It's amazing, it's uh, so sticky sticks to the skin really really well and it's really easy to stencil with a hand with a pencil as well so i'll start with the hand first and as much i have been tattooing for many years and i've done millions of stencils you will see the imperfections in the end as I'm stenciling, it's easy to forget where you've stenciled or not, even though it's a small design, you can see I'm checking it uh, whether I have made stencil, I have made all the lines or not. Now I start with a ruler, just to make sure it's as perfectly done as possible. Also checking whether all the lines are there already. Now let's compare two stencils, how they look next to each other. So I'm comparing hand uh, stencil uh, to still hand stenciling, but the one I've done with the help of a ruler. So as you can see, the lines are rather less, slightly wonky and um, some parts are slightly curved in which is not perfect especially for symmetrical design you don't want that and another star is done with the ruler it's much better but it's not perfect it's it's all right thermal copier hectograph paper so this is how it looks if you haven't seen it before it has one two th three four sheets layers so the brown one some artists use it i don't i chuck it away straight away and it's only three layers of paper you're left with i'm gonna place um, star shape on the first on top of the yellow layer it's a base layer to call it as you can see i'm chucking the brown bit and the blue bit is the one that is gonna stencil onto the white layer, top layer. Then I'm placing everything together so it all fits together nicely and I am ready to use thermal copier. So here is the already stencil star with the thermal copier. And as you can see, it's nearly perfect. To be honest, it's as perfect as it can be. Now, as you can see, I'm putting next to each other hand-drawn stencil uh, stars that I've done before. And here is a um, thermal copier stencil I've used. And see the difference, how 
much nicer, finer, delicate and really precise as a stencil with made with thermal copier compared to hand stenciling and um, the thermal copier one is nearly 99% perfect and I'm stenciling a rose much more complex design obviously it doesn't have any obvious lines but you still have to outline each petal little corners any small detail that you will find is important uh, interesting thing about this design for you might be that you can also stencil i call it mapping map out um, areas where there is a shading on the rows uh, shadows from petal on the petal and a background as well draw lines around around the rows to indicate uh, that this is a background and it's dark and on the petals I'll mark the edge of the shadow with the little dots and also you can show direction of how falls the shadow with the lines so you draw lines into the direction where is following the shadow You can also show the volume of the object in this case to show uh, to remember which way is curving in Rose's petal uh, draw half curved lines like I do here so as you can see on the back of the stencil it's clear where is the background um, there is lots of lines on the not so dark parts on the petals I only left the dots to show myself where uh, finishes the shadow even though petals may look like they're smooth but actually they have a little bit of texture and by showing that in your tattoo will make a big difference to any object whether it's rose or hair texture of the hair fur on an animal all those little details make a big difference Thank you very much for watching my video guys i really hope you enjoyed it if you'd like to see and find out more information about tattoo magic i will share more videos and you just need to subscribe and like my video which will also support my channel and i really appreciate it